Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. And now that all of the film has been watched and the grades are finalized, it's time to break down the 2019 NFL Draft prospect rankings. Before we dive into the prospect rankings video, let's take a look at how we go about grading these guys on film. For the skill positions, we take a look at a prospect's best and worst game statistically and the best matchup before we finalize his film grade. And from there, the player is assigned a grade on a 100 point scale. We don't believe in the term backup per se. If you're the NFL, you're one of the best players at your position. So we consider you a starter in waiting, or at least that's how I would look at it if I'm a GM or a head coach. So without further ado, let's dive into the video with our number one graded prospect at the position. Irv Smith Jr. out of Alabama is our number one H-back prospect in this year's draft class. Obviously, his receiving skills are where you'd expect him to be or want him to be for that matter, but I like how good of a blocker he is on your whams, your traps, your reach blocks, etc. Smith in the passing game is very solid, and in my opinion, he's going to thrive in a short to intermediate area as a pro. Looking at the rest of the rankings, and I apologize right off the bat for the wrong Kentucky Wildcat graphic for C.J. Conrad, but Keenan Brown of Texas State has some impressive film. He has that former Pittsburgh Steeler Eric Green-like elusiveness in the open field, and I'm a big fan of the effort that he's shown in the blocking department as he has above-average functional strength to succeed. Isaac Nuda of Georgia was seldom used in college, but did enough on tape for you to figure that he'll be much better as a pro than he was in college because they'll get him more involved in a passing game. Vincent Hobbs of Texas A&M Commerce is definitely a name to keep an eye on. He has soft hands like a wide receiver and is very comfortable catching the ball away from his body. I could also even see him as a flex tight end as well. He's a very good run after the catch guy as he tries to score each and every time he touches the ball. If Ryan Bell of Villanova can stay healthy, he's your ideal H-back in my opinion. Health has been his issue for the last two seasons. Otherwise, he's a really good player and an excellent receiver. Stephon Jacob of Richmond is an underrated option in this draft class. He's a smooth route runner that shows very good acceleration once he has the ball in his hands. I think he could even serve as a in the backfield as a fullback as a pro. He wasn't featured a ton in this Richmond offense, but if the James Madison game is of any indication, he can become a dependable target in the passing game moving forward. And rounding out our list is Jake Powell out of Mammoth, the 6'5", 245-pounder, was snake-bitten by injury this year that limited him to only five games, but he is a strong blocker at the point of attack and could develop into an inline guy down the line thanks to the coaching and experience that he got at Mammoth. Powell is more along the lines of your old-school H-back and definitely has a bright future as a pro. So that's a wrap here from the Football Game Plan Studios. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Be sure to follow me on all of my social media accounts. And don't forget to check out and subscribe on iTunes, the Football Game Plan Podcast. We can find our Scout Team Podcast, which has a lot of 2019 NFL Draft prospect interviews. And also be sure to subscribe on YouTube to the Football Game Plan Network located at youtube.com slash football game plan.